New on 7, a suspect is in custody after police say he broke into a marijuana dispensary in northeast Albuquerque. Action 7 News reporter Marissa Armas was there during the nearly 10-hour long standoff. Marissa. Well, it's actually still a pretty active scene here. I want you guys to take a look at these officers behind me. Just minutes ago, they tackled someone to the ground. We're not sure if he's connected to the situation that's happening here, but we did see him come out of this far left hand door on my side. Now I want to show you guys some of the damage that has actually happened here. Take a look at all of the, gra the glass on this floor. SWAT members actually had to break through this window just to get inside to a suspect that was in here. And if you look at the ceiling there, you could see it all falling apart. Now, of course, police say that this took a while to control, but the good thing tonight is that no one was badly injured. Drones, SWAT vehicles, and boots on the ground. I stuck my head out the door and noticed that there was police up and down the street. Around 2.30 Tuesday morning, police were notified via an alarm system about a burglary at the R. Greenleaf Dispensary in Midtown. That's when they noticed a man inside. Later on, they did kind of make entry to surrounding businesses and were able to observe that someone had removed ceiling tiles and kind of burrowed in between the businesses, giving them access to all three businesses. The uncooperative suspect didn't want to get out of the building. Eventually, flashbangs were launched, canines released, and the SWAT team went in. Fortunately, the canine was able to get inside and apprehend the suspect. KOAT and Sky 7 caught the moments the suspect was handcuffed, escorted out, and patted down. It is expensive. It, it takes a lot of resources, a lot of man hours. But in the end, nobody was hurt except for the offender. A nearly 10-hour standoff that not only left many drivers looking for detours, but nearby businesses closed as well. I just feel like we need to figure out how to get this crime under control. We need to figure out how to deal with this like because I just feel like it's getting worse instead of better. Now I just reached out to police to ask them if this second man is a part of the situation. There is word here that there may have been a second suspect, but right now none of that is confirmed. That one man who was arrested earlier today was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. I'll be sure to give you guys updates as I get those. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. Now police are working to identify the suspect. They say he will face charges.